Hey YouTube friends and family, how's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well. Sad thing is in YouTube, many people not doing so well. Whole lot of backbiting and backstabbing and deception, arguing, bickering, flagging, <laughs> thumbs down, whole lot of nasty going on. I find it ironic. I really do. Some really great people, great channels, biting at each other, snapping, looking for a fault, begging for the fight, nose up. Yeah. Even in comments, we have people posting videos and if you disagree with them in the slightest way, or if you see things from a different view, or you have knowledge about somebody that they don't have, you're the bad guy. Some people get very vocal in not so nice ways. Certainly do. Yeah, they're talking about this Comet Ison, Planet Nibiru, Wormwood, the Big Rock, whatever it is that's supposed to be coming in, inbound. A lot of speculation on what it's going to do. They say that it may not hit Earth. And then there's others that say, oh, it might hit Earth. But pretty much everybody agrees that the tail is going to be the rough ride. People talking about the earth being tipped or tilted. Right now I'd say that people are tipped and tilted. I would say that should something catastrophic happen, and quite frankly we know that FEMA's getting ready. We know that the government's ready. We know that they're sending troops on both east and west coast lines. They even have Russians brought in 15,000, I believe was the number that I read, Russian troops to come in and handle civil disturbances. It's funny, in all my growing up, Russia was the enemy, so to have Russian military on our homeland or to set foot in their uniforms on our homeland would have been a declaration of war. Wouldn't have been stood for. The times change. Do I know why the Russians are here on the coastline? Only what I read. And according to their own reports, it is to work as security against the American people. I say against because uh, I believe that our military and our police, our uh, civil servants, wouldn't be as apt to just take Americans out. And that's where my mind goes. But anyway, back to the point of this video. Haven't been on much because we're getting ready for homeschooling. And uh, Hammer's been working to get the children all set up. They each have their own desk area, their own computers, monitors, printers, equipment. So we're going to be pretty busy with that working together as a family, family unit. And uh, YouTube videos, I've got stories to tell. Very few of them fit in the timeline that you're most comfortable with. Most of my stories are short but not short enough. 
many of them are based on true facts, true true uh, life happenings, incidents, questions, wonders. And I'll get around to those. But my concern today is this war among the people, the YouTube community. So many people. Division. Everybody taking a side. Half the people taking sides don't even have a clue what it's all about. The people that are bickering are half right, half wrong in most cases. And in some cases, neither one of them really know. They've grabbed up information from other places, other people's words, other people's videos, other people's pictures, other people's photoshopping, and they claim it to be fact, to be true, to be real. And of course, anybody that's paying any bit of attention can see falsity, they can see flaws, maybe they see it from a different view entirely. Doesn't make anybody right, doesn't make anybody wrong. But everybody in here is looking for right and wrong. They're not focusing where they need to be focusing. The division that I see in here in YouTube sickens me. It really hits to the heart. Even, even our religious, our Christian people are bickering amongst themselves. If this is the way we behave, then what hope is there is if, for us if there is a catastrophic event? Do we really think we're going to work together? Well, my neighbor said this, and I say this. I don't like him. I can't stand that son of a... Well, I don't like him either because he, he doesn't get it. He doesn't know what I know. Neighbors can't even get along across a fence. They can't get along here on the web. Nastiness. And there's a fix for every bit of this. There's a fix. But everybody's too good to work together. Everybody's better than anybody else. You know, there's a fix that's so simple. It's called the virtues. Simple virtues. But people don't have a clue what that means anymore. They don't know how to apply them. How can you claim to be a Christian when you're judging everybody around you? When you put other people down, when you slander them or defame them? Is that what Christians do? How can you claim to be good? How can you claim to know when you're borrowing information? When you're running on hand-me-down knowledge? Well, where did you learn that? Did you actually see it happen? Did you witness this yourself? Have you got all the data on it? Did you research it? No, but I watch so-and-so's video, and I like him, and I know he's right. Well, I don't like him, so I know you're wrong. It's senseless. This is ridiculous. And quite frankly, none of us have time for it. You may not realize that, but you don't have time for it. How sad it is. Virtues. Acceptance. Compliments to acceptance are contentment and forgiveness that transcends the opposite, rejection. Assertiveness, confidence and courage. How many of you have courage? The opposite, self-doubt, shyness. How many of you are hiding behind other people's words? You won't even come forward and show yourself 
and share what you honestly believe, what's really in your heart. Assertiveness. Authenticity. That's honesty and integrity. How many people practice honesty and integrity? How many of you are authentic, real? Beauty, joyfulness, peace. The opposite, ugliness. Authenticity, by the way, the opposite is low self-esteem. Unsure of yourselves. Caring, compassion and kindness. How many of you show compassion and kindness to strangers here in YouTube? Transcends cruelty, insensitivity. Cleanliness, orderliness, purity, of course, transcends dirtiness. Commitment, that's a big one, commitment. Loyalty, perseverance. and transcends lack of direction. Compassion, that's caring and understanding, transcends grief and judgment. Confidence, that's assertiveness and courage again. Confidence transcends self-doubt and uncertainty. Consideration, caring, compassion. Boy, I love it when those show up, don't you? Transcends selfishness. Contentment, fulfillment and joy. Transcends dissatisfaction, restlessness. Cooperation, teamwork, unity, unity. Transcends defiance, courage, boldness and confidence, transcends self-doubt and fear. Creativity, joy, purposefulness, transcends the ordinary. Detachment, faith, freedom, transcends control. Think about that one. Faith, freedom, detachment from control. Determination, commitment, tenacity, tenacity transcends complacency. Dignity, honor, respect transcends egoism and selfishness. Enthusiasm, energy and motivation, transcends boredom and indifference. Ethical, fairness and respect, transcends immorality. Think about that. That really fits what I'm talking about here. Ethical, fairness, and respect. Excellence, dignity, honor, integrity, and respect. Transcends mediocrity. Fairness, equality, and justice. Transcends grievance and injustice. Faith, confidence, hope, and trust transcends apprehension and doubt. Flexibility, detachment, understanding transcends stubbornness. Forgiveness, freedom, peace transcends anger, bitterness. Friendliness, kindness, tact transcends shyness. 
Generosity, kindness, service, transcends stinginess, self-centeredness, gentleness, patience, peace, transcends aggression, graciousness, dignity, tact, transcends disrespect and rudeness. Boy, have we got a lot of that. You know, I could go through the whole list here, but it'd take a lot of time. I'll put the link down below where you guys can read this yourself. But a lot of what's going on in our world, especially in governments, is a lack of the virtues. The lack of virtues. And by golly, so many people are jumping into the cesspool head first, lying to each other, cheating each other, swindling each other, talking about each other, putting each other down. Fact is, none of us really know what the heck is going on. Not one person in this YouTube community knows exactly what's going on. You can't come forward and say, here's exactly what's happening. Here's exactly what's going to happen. None of you. Because that side, they have kept it secret. And if we find out, it'll be at a point in time when it's too damn late to do anything about it. And yet you waste your time in here arguing, bickering, slandering each other, picking on each other, trying to find fault in each other, creating fake hoaxes, fear-mongering, mistreating. How pathetic. How pathetic. If we can't get along in this cyber community, if we cannot find the problems and then seek solutions together and work together, because quite often, my friends, when this guy says this, he's not 100% wrong. And when this guy says this, he's not 100% wrong. And if you can get those two together, they might come up with a solution. But it takes working together. It takes that teamwork. It takes virtues. I keep telling you, love each other. Be kind to each other. Share. Show generosity. Sympathy. Compassion. Understanding. God help us if we don't. Because no matter what's coming, whether it's a tornado in your town, whether it's a death, a flood, an earthquake, or the incoming, or whether it's the second coming. If you're not prepared, God help you. This is about all of us. We don't have time for selfishness, for cheating, for lying, for hoaxing for trying to create fear. We should be supporting each other and helping each other to come up with answers, to better our situations, to be prepared to help, to help each other, to help a stranger. And if we can't do that, we don't deserve to survive it. That's all I've got to say. I hope you took time to listen. And if you have something bad to say, move on. Just move on. I don't expect everybody to agree. Quite frankly, I don't expect anybody to agree. Perhaps I just needed to get that off my chest. But just the same, I love you all. Great big hugs. And guys, keep looking up. Catch you later. Does anybody have any extra jelly beans? <laughs>